MarketChameleon.com. I'm Adam. That's Will. We're discussing uh, Apple products this morning because, Will, uh, if you see here, I have the original Apple iPods, which I was happy to pay 150 bucks for, and you have the plug at the bottom here. here. So these are the Pro. And look at Will's, man. Yeah. Fifteen dollars, Amazon.com. <laughs> and he's like, "You can't tell the difference." I'm like, "Yes, you can, man. Only, you can't tell the difference if you don't like music or you don't like sound. Like, it's hard to tell the difference if you actually don't care about those things. But if you actually care about that, you can tell the difference." But how does, how does Amazon sell those? <laughs> I don't know, man. I guess it's all le- it's all good, dude. There's no patent on this, man. This box. It's not like patent. It's not patentable. Whatever it is, what? man. It's, it's just a box, dude. It's just a box. My, my kids, when they saw that, go, they look so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody remember uh, selling illegal items on Amazon, just like option trading is risky. So be careful out there. Do your research. Lots of research, man. What do you got for us today, man? Have you been diving uh, really deep this morning for us, my friend? Oh, it's been a, a very dig deep this morning i don't know if any, anyone noticed i showed up with my hat on i apologize about that uh you can have your hat on dude if it's cold you there you know you shouldn't wear hats in the house well, you, was, if you look over sh- my uh, dude that's like right. that's antiquated man that's antiquated look i'm all for you know social norms but dude some stuff needs to change we can change the social norm where you can wear a hat in the house man we don't have to we don't have to keep it as you can't ever wear a hat in the house we can change that social norm all right, we'll give it. We'll give it a go. We'll change that. We'll call that the McBride rule. Where right, hats right. are, dude. I wear a hat in the house all the time. I'd freeze to death. I'd be dead right now if I didn't have a hat in this house. Can 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 your brother get a, a word in this morning? <laughs> if you look over my right shoulder, there's some snow outside. So I'm shoveling a, shoveling a path a moment. Ago. Oh, so was it a school? Was it a snow day today? Are the kids off? It, it's a it's a two hour delay. Oh. Two hour delay. Dude, that for a kid that is brutal, man. That's like the biggest tease, man. That sucks. Well, I, think I think I think it's uh, not that bad. They get to go in two hours late, so they have you know a quarter of the day removed, and it's a Friday today. So it's yeah, but today. dude, you know the way it is, man. They're yeah. tracking the snow. Last night they got their snow tracker app. You know they're hoping. You know the way it is now. Last year when we were kids, we'd be on like Channel Nine News, like what's gonna happen with the snow? You know. But now it's like gotta get up to the minute snow reports, man. That it is. That be, it is. And it's, I'd and it's be still, all over that. It's still snowing a little bit outside. So nice. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll get a call. But uh, just, to, just, be, just to be make sure you put the disclaimer out there for everyone. Correct? Yeah, we got the disclaimer up, man. So first thing I going through the news scroll from the chameleon this morning, this uh, national oil well piqued my interest. In the man, these oils and, every day, dude. Really? Every day? Are you just, you, you know what it is when he picks a winner, dude? He just, he doubles down, triples down, quadruples down, man. He's going to let us know that he picked this winner two months ago, and he's going to keep letting us know. You're going to keep rubbing this in our face, aren't you? Yeah. You, you, you're really funny this <laughs> my, uh My instinct was to get long, you're right. But a- as I started going through the earnings alerts, I noticed that, uh, the last five earnings periods, the stock has drifted an average of 9%, or excuse me, 6.9%, two weeks leading into earnings. You can show it in the table right there. That's been the drift. Okay. Uh, and then the thing to be aware of is after uh, the earnings announcement, it's gone up on average. That may be one big outlier. But no, it's, it's, it's had some moves. In Interesting. Of 5%. So what I was thinking to do, and, and if you looked at a... Uh, Let's look back at the stock chart. If you look at the moving averages, it's touch, touch, touching the 50-day. Yep. Uh, some people looking at charts can think that could be a pullback if it doesn't break that. Uh, I looked at doing a, a bearish spread over the next uh, period of time, and uh, there are a lot available to do a bearish spread in here, uh, taking theoretical edge, High win rates. Let's see if there's anything. So you're looking at it as okay, it's trended up ten days in a row, but you're looking at it as uh, there there could be a pullback going in there. And that was the other thing. The earnings are February seventh. Uh, if you go to the earnings, 
February 7th. So remember, two weeks before. So we're getting pretty close to the start of that downdrift. That downdrift. It's very so, interesting. Dude, look at you, man. That's top That's top shelf info right there, man. Thinking, uh, but you were right. When I, when I first looked at it, I was like patting myself. Like, look at these oils. <laughs> But, uh, you know, looking into the, the data, I got another idea. So take a look at that, everyone, today. Very cool. On, on the chameleon. Uh, next thing, I don't know if you've heard, but uh, and the market's up like a buck fifty in the Dow futures this morning. But there are conversations that uh, El Presidente is just going to do away with the tariffs. Mm. Put it all back to, back to normal. To get open, these, uh, open trade, baby. Love that. I love that. Yeah, I mean, he is so worried about the stock market and what it presents uh, about his leadership. Yep. You know, a, a bullish stock market moving higher is uh, a, a good sign. For I'm him. just wondering what he's going to save up for, you know, right before the next election cycle. Before he, it's time to get him, him to get reelected. Like, he's got to have stuff in his back pocket it, then, right? Because, I mean, really if anybody's, I'd be super bullish coming into his uh the election um his new his re-election cycle yeah you know because I mean, because that you figure that's when he's really got some a couple things where he's just going to throw down uh to really open up and try to get this market steaming ahead <laughs> it's really an interesting thing that that we even, are even talking about this are what you are mean? you saying that's not true dude <laughs> people People would have said you were crazy. Government intervention. What government? Inter government government doesn't. And government is simply doing the will of the people, my friend. <laughs> uh, it's, 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 it's an interesting debate for sure. But I was just looking at uh, one of my favorite Chinese companies, Alibaba. Uh, it's still, it, it's come off its lows. Uh, I mean, it looks, it's more than 30% off its lows. Am I right? 200, yeah, it's about... You know, it's well into a bear market. So I looked at, uh, you know, look at the uh, bullish call spreads and put spreads in Alibaba. Do your screen. The next one I looked at was CBS. Uh, actually, did I not bring up a Baba? Let's look at Baba here. We'll look at a. Uh, I didn't screen for it was the problem. We'll go to bullish. Let's look at the credit spreads. We'll give us a longer date. Scroll down a little bit so we can see that, brother. It's pulling all that data. That was, I don't know, like a million entries there with potential. So uh, it gets down to 433 uh, possible BABA trades. Let's narrow that down. So let's look for theoretical edge uh, above 75%. Sound good? So, I mean, it is, that's not actually happened yet with Trump, right? That's just been like, that's floating, being floated out there right now. What's that? Uh, that he's going to lift the tariffs. That is, that is uh, floating out there. Just correct? floating. It's, it's interesting. You wonder, is, is he the one floating it out there to see what kind of response he gets? Yeah. <laughs> In the water. Will, are you serious? How, how dare you, Will? How dare you put so little faith in our president? <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, maybe it does speed up the negotiation process. If they well, that, that could be too. Absolutely. That could be too. So maybe he's like, listen, you know, I, I want to uh, drive the economy and, you know, strengthen both marketplaces. You know, China's a good friend. You know, this is how he talks. China's a good friend. Yeah. You know, we, we need to help China. They're suffering because of this. You know, we need to. It's good for our manufacturers, whatever. Yeah. Uh, he'll come spin it. I mean, he's a he's a master spinner of uh, garbage. <laughs> I, I, I should say that I don't want to get political. <laughs> but it's, uh, I'll take it's, the other it's, side it's, of that argument, my man. But yes, it's it is certainly uh, we've certainly never seen anything like it. Not in our lifetime, and not in anybody's lifetime. Let's be real. This is a new kind of president, man. This is completely so this, new. Yes, and uh, if you want to take advantage of Baba, there are a lot of opportunities with theoretical edge. Win rates, downside cushion. Uh, it's it's an interesting stock to keep your eye on. So what's that CBS one you were looking at there? What is that? Well, CBS is the the previous leader uh, got caught up in a, ha a hashtag moment and uh, was dismissed. And he was owed, I don't know, 120 
million dollars and it looked like he was just going to walk away from it but i think he tested the job market and there was not a lot of interest in him at all really so so now he's suing cbs wait who, who is who are you talking about who are you talking about less moonves who less moonves who on earth are you talking about dude i have no idea what you just the words that are coming out your mouth man i have no, no idea, idea who this is man all right. Well, he was the leader of CBS. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. Oh, wait. This is CBS, the, the television? Uh, the television yeah. channel? Yes. <laughs> well, they're not, they're not a television. They're a content curator. <laughs> they're a tech company. Sell, Mortimer. They're, sell. They're the, well, I looked at it the other way. You're, like, you're looking to buy. Get in. Get in now, man. These guys, they know how to produce the quality content that we all enjoy and love. Very, very strong assets. You look at, you know, they've got a, a P uh, ratio below the S&P, uh, a reasonable So 13 yield. PE, and something like that. Just, just from a, uh, a quick screen from the bullish market uh, position, you look at the credit put spread. There are a lot of opportunities to put on a credit put spread. With, uh, so you're, you're saying the previous, what, CEO uh, was let go, he was going to fire him, or he was going to sue him, and then that just, didn't happen, or that still is on the table? No, he's out. He's out. He's just, there's now, there's a potential for CBS. CBS A, it's in the news again, that they had this negative situation with their leadership. Gotcha. So it's, it's got this negative news again. Right. Uh, which... It's whole, still holding down the stock. The stock hasn't rebounded as much as the market. And, you know, it, it's, but it's got a great core network. It's got the NFL contracts. It's, you know, if you like what, you know, Netflix is doing and content curators across the board, I mean, there's no one bigger in the space than CBS. And there's still this uh, Viacom potential deal out there. There's just a, a lot of stuff. If you think the market's going to continue to drift, this stock uh, stripped higher. Gotcha. This stock has some upside as well. And, uh, you know, even you put on one of these bullish uh, credit spreads, you know, you still have cushion to the downside, right, with this bad news. You need 9% cushion to the downside, 10%. Yep. You know, so there are some things to look at to take the other side if you think just because Les Moonbez is suing them for, you know, $120 million dollars of uh compensation he was due right uh you know i i think uh i'm taking the other side of that you know i don't think that's overly negative going forward i mean the fact that they tossed him to the side is uh probably a good thing and they're changing their uh corporate culture i mean you see cbs announces a 20 million dollar grant to support and eliminate sexual harassment <laughs> in the workplace. why am i laughing dude why am i laughing well the world's the world's getting Becoming a better place. Hey, sure. dude, there, nobody, there I mean, nobody uh, believes that more than I do. Nobody. This world is becoming incredible. But we got to deal with some stupidness on the way. That's just the way it is. But yes, it's, it's getting better. The, the pace at rapid good change is uh, incredible, man. Yeah. Greatest time in world history right now. As a father of three daughters, I'm, I'm happy that yep. stuff like that is going on. Cause yep. There's, there's no place in you know the work workspace for that and uh yep for for you know the history of the world it was allowed and, absolutely uh, so that's good stuff uh next thing we're moving to this is all all uh basically uh companies in the news this morning and we're, i'm looking at either the bullish side or the bear side and using our screeners and back testers to find opportunities so t tesla was the next one i looked at down eight percent in the pre-market you caught his uh youtube yesterday right no i didn't what happened <laughs> nude dude what, what was he doing he just ran around his yard nude <laughs> that's a that's a bad joke that's <sighs> a, that's, he uh announced uh he's eliminating seven percent of the workforce in hopes to cut the production costs and the eventual retail costs of his uh, Tesla three, whatever. Yep, model the model three. Yep, model three. Uh, I view this as you know a, a turn. We had so much bullish movement in the last uh, I don't know four months, three months. How long have we been? Uh, 
sure. talking about Tesla. Uh, it's had such a good run. It's got some. Uh, so, you, so you're looking at this as a real, real sign that that look this this company, he's got to tighten up and tighten the not, belt, not, try to get it. No, I'm just I'm just looking at the stock. The stock has some room to move. You know, this new this could be the turn, and there could be a new trend uh, going lower. We have earnings. Let's see when the earnings are coming out. You know, this I so projected into February the earnings. So, by cutting his workforce now and making this announcement, you can bet he's not going to hit his earnings numbers. That may be even in the story this morning. Uh, you know, so yep. there's, again, you could get another, another negative story, another negative story. This stock is, was trading at, you know, ridiculous levels like Netflix to uh, any earnings. Sure. Uh, not, e not even in the ballpark. But uh, I don't know. A, a car company cutting 7% of its workforce doesn't seem like a good thing. It seems like you need people. To make your cars well if you're yeah if you're selling a lot of cars yeah exactly yeah, absolutely I mean, it, absolutely you want to be hiring people not firing yep, people. I, mean, I do well you know me i'm negative on the whole space but yes i, I get it 100 percent, man you're negative on the automobile dude industry, absolutely or? man absolutely the whole model's gone dude i told you that man I, I just get on board man the whole model me buying a car i might buy one more car in my lifetime man and then i'm never gonna buy a car again i'll just call yeah. up my car Car comes, you, picks see, me up. That's it. Did you did you see Netflix just raise their rates like forty uh, percent? <laughs> when you don't have that car, and all of a sudden that, if Uber was three times as much, yep. Are you still saying what you're saying? Yeah. Right now, I'm you just are? I'm just saying yes. I mean, I uh, well, I mean, you you look at it and you see everybody's been saying that with Amazon too, right? What happens when Amazon just decides to add thirty percent on their products? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I say, when's that going to happen? That's, that's in all, believe me, that's in all of their plans. I bet if we dig into the perspective, that's in the, we should do that, see if it's in there. <laughs> but, you know, this, this, once you have Jack up the share, prices. Once, once you have market share, right, and you're the one or two players in the space, you know, you're not going to keep the prices low. It's, it's artificially, Uber's losing every time they pick someone up. Yep. So I, I just don't believe that can go on forever. Yep. Uh, but I, I do think that the great thing with the driverless cars will be the, you know, the, the number of auto accidents and the, you know, insurance. The biggest problem with the cars is the insurance. Well, you may say I say the biggest problem is deaths, but insurance is one thing. You think the death? Is <laughs> People really like dying, that? dude. People die, dude. Yeah, these cars are super dangerous. I mean, that's just the way it is. You know, is it, but is yeah, it cars, so, or, is it cars or drivers. Well, I shouldn't say cars. I should say accidents are dangerous. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I think it, what was it? I saw. Um, I don't know if it's Volkswagen or Volvo, one of those, where if you were, uh, they were planning on you buy their, you know, enhanced vehicle where it has like enhanced driving. Uh, they're gonna cover you whenever the enhanced driving is actually engaged, so you don't actually. You're actually covered by their insurance, where that when their, like super driver whatever is on. Wow! Did you hear that? That's, I, I didn't, but that's yeah. that's very interesting. And it's going to change that whole model. Maybe yep. uh, one day we'll take some time and look at these insurers, because the insurers who gain uh, a significant amount of their revenue from, I mean, that's obviously a whole industries are going to be shifted uh, when this goes, you know, mainstream. When when people are being picked up. And no one's driving, and most of the cars on the road. But I mean, I, I've heard numbers that we're 20, 30 years away. So the fact that you're yeah. saying you're never going to buy, buy another car, you you know, someone's going to have to buy the car too. <laughs> you know? Well, I mean, so, do we just? There's just no way for anybody to know what's going to happen. Is there just going to be fleets of cars that are run by Google and Tesla and who knows who knows who else? Um, that you know, they're not even cars. They're just kind of small pods that come pick you up. And those are also, I mean, who's, who's to say Amazon doesn't get in the spates and just has like these tiny little, uh, you know, bubble cars that pick people up, but also deliver stuff. And who, dude, who knows, man? Who knows? Yeah, what, what about body drone? You just step into a suit and just go. <laughs> just, it just helicopters you anywhere. <laughs> dude, well, I'll tell you what. In France, they had a, a virtual reality 
tour of France. It was my son's favorite part of France. We, in France, we went to a tour where you get into this thing. It's like a room. You stand in this thing. You put on the glasses. And then you tour around France uh, virtually. And my son said it was the best part of France. The best part of France. <laughs> I mean, imagine that. And there was no need to leave our house to do it. Like, that could have been another, replicated another, in our house, man. Another, another business idea. You <laughs> never have to travel. Just do the best part. The best of part of France, man. The best parts of New York City. You could, it yep. could be a tour. Dude, he, we did it. And he was like, when can we go back? That was amazing. <laughs> wow, that is really cool. Awesome. Very cool. All right, let's end on that note. We've chit-chatted now for over half an hour. Well, and, Brett, uh, Brett says, uh, body drone, sign me up, brother. There's the idea, man. That's the idea for the day. Uh, everybody remember, click down below, subscribe, uh, hit the comments like Brett's doing right now, and you're automatically entered for um, six months free of the chameleon. We'll pick yeah. that on February 1st, and uh, that's going to be awesome, right, man? Yeah, for it's sure. And can, and can Brett, when he builds that product and puts it together can i at least just get one for myself <laughs> he can take that idea and we'll dude i think it's gonna i think it's gonna need an extra uh an extra rotary blade for you to lift that that kind of weight wait no no i'm on my 16.8 baby 16.8 16.8 four man 16.8 come on I've, I've taken a good so wait what's the uh, what's the weight at right now up. i'm 235 all right man five so you've lost five pounds yes all I right have. Congratulations, I've, I've my man! Six ounces of beer, uh, beard hair. I don't know if anyone's noticed. I'm <laughs> got my winter uh, mountain man look going. I hope everyone appreciates that. Man, that's awesomeness. Um, all right, everybody, pura vida, man. Have a great day. We've gone a little bit over today, but thanks for joining us. Remember, click subscribe below. Uh, follow us, chat, comment with us. We respond to all comments. I saw a comment just popped in about Greeks and stuff. We'll try to get to that tomorrow. Pop into the show tomorrow uh, there, and we will try to answer your questions live. And uh, Pura Vida, have a great day trading, everybody. Thanks for joining us.